Yo, so welcome back to the Brandon Pizza Show, Lost Strange video, and today I'm going to be showing off the brand new Kiram VMAX today. Kiram VMAX can literally KO anything in its path. Now, Kiram VMAX is actually doing really well right now in the online tourney sphere, and it's a pretty strong card. It's got the attack max frost. It does 120 damage and does 50 damage for each water energy you discard on Kiram, and you don't have a damage cap. So if you get rid of three water energy, that is 270. If you get rid of four, of course, that is going to be um, 300 and, like, 20. Like, it just does a lot of damage. It can one account anything. Now, the cool thing is you have Palkia V-Star to build it up a star portal. Now, I've kind of gone more on kind of the rogue side. I've actually snuck in a 2-2 Frost Moth line in the deck. I know a lot of the Kiram are using just, like, straight Palkia and stuff, but as you know, I'm the rogue guy, and I wanted to kind of spice things up. So I added in the 2-2 Frost Moth in the deck, because Frost Moth has the ability that lets you... I was often like attach a water energy from your hand to one of your bench water Pokemon. So you can use Frost Moth to build up Kiram on the bench in one turn. Kiram does have Glaciated World too, where you can discard the top card of your deck. If it is a water energy, you can attach it to one of your Pokemon, and you can combine that with a Ranguru's Primary Wisdom to put a water from your hand on top of your deck to uh, put on Kiram. So it's another way to get energy on Kiram, which is pretty insane. So yeah, before the video, of course, you have to sponsor Card Cavern TCG. As always, if you're ever looking for any PCGO package, make sure you get your codes over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern does sell codes online for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any sets, of course, like Lost Origin, the main set right now, get your Lost Origin codes at Card Cavern. And if you get any codes at Card Cavern at the checkout, be sure to use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help a Card Cavern. So shout out Card Cavern, check them out. Use Card LDF. Also, make sure to go subscribe to the Shovel Squad down below. I do post a video every Monday and every Thursday, a new episode of the podcast goes live. And I think by the time this video goes up, a new episode of the podcast will have just gone out. So you definitely do not want to miss out on that. So yeah, this is the Kiram list that I am working with here. And again, Kiram's doing pretty well right now with Palkia. More of a more just streamlined Palkia build. I am still playing the one with Palkia because Star Portal with Kiram VMAX is just absolutely disgusting. It's just actually kind of broken. But again, I wanted to maybe spice things up and do a bit more of a rogue heavy build using Frostmoth. The cool thing with Frostmoth, it does invite a lot of cool ideas. Ice Dance is really good with not just Kirin, but you can also use it with Greninja with Moonlight Shuriken. If your opponent is not benching Manaphy, Frostmoth Greninja is a very good combo. As this deck does play Ordinary Rod and Nessa, which allows you to like recover your stuff. Uh, there's an Empoleon. The amount of basic heavy decks going around right now like you just need the empoleon there are way too many basic decks going around right now in the format so you kind of have to play the empoleon right now and it, it is a one of we are playing just because the ability is so good against comfy cramorant reggie fairy soul rock you just kind of need it i am playing one bat and one mana fee um i definitely think this deck maybe wants to play a luminion which is not a bad idea either i think luminion is a good one of in here i don't know what to cut for it but luminion definitely is an option of something you could add within the deck another cool card i'm playing in this deck is actually wash energy so when wash energy is on a water pokemon uh, prevent all effects of attacks done to that pokemon uh, when your opponent attacks it this means that if you play against giratina v star and they try to star requiem you because of the wash energy being on your kiram um it doesn't get ko'd by Giratina's V-Star power, which is very, very good, as Giratina will not be able to one-hit KO the Kiram in return, as Kiram only does, Kiram has 330 HP, Giratina can only max at like 310 damage, which Kiram can take a hit from, so the Wash Energy is really, really good against the Giratina v uh, the V-Star matchup, sorry. I almost said Giratina V-Max, we never got a Giratina V-Max. Um, that's really it, we got our supporter count, two Iritas, uh, you could try a Battle VIP in this deck too if you really wanted to, Scuba Net's also an option to like, reuse Guru multiple times in turn with Glaciated World. Um, but I am liking the deck a lot, um, and I like the Frostmoth kind of engine in this deck, letting you use it with Greninja, Kiram, and of course, using that Nessa combo is kind of cute too. There's other attackers you can add in the deck too, since you are playing at the Frostmoth engine. But let's go show the deck off on PCGO, see in action, and see what Kiram is all about. All right, let's see what we can do here with Kiram. Going first is a good start, and we open up with Palkia and Crobat. Okay, not bad. Um, Wouldn't mind seeing a... Kiram here. Uh, right, we see a Hisuian Decidueye. All right, so we're playing against Arceus Flying Pikachu, I imagine. Um, okay. Pass? I mean, not much we can do. I maybe could have Crobatted, knowing that they probably play Path the Peak. Crobat might have been an okay play. Um, but no, they're playing a Machamp deck. All right, this is very much not Arceus Flying Pikachu. This is Machamp. Okay, that is interesting. We will see... How we fail? Oh, no, it's Arceus with Machamp and Decidueye. Okay. All right, it's an Arceus deck. And they do Marty me here. Okay, there goes our hand. Now, judging from the Machamp, I don't know if they're playing Gapejaw Bog or not, or if they're playing Paths. So we got to watch out for that. 
Uh, but let's see what we get out the Marnie here. We do find Kieran. We do get Ultra Ball, which will be able to give us a Crobat. And they just Mountain Hunt. Okay. It's fine. You can probably go Palkia this turn and then try to go Kiram into the Machamp or the Arceus to take a big one at KO. That seems good to me. So we'll see how that all goes. But yeah, I do want to set Kiram up here so we can just kind of sweep through my opponent's board. I mean, Palkia is good, but we can definitely just kind of sweep things up with Kiram, I think. Um, so I don't think they're playing Pikachu. I think we would have seen that by now. So if we can kind of sweep things with Kiram, I think we'll be good to go we do draw research which is huge i can actually play that i can ultra ball here i'm gonna grab the hulkia v star i think get that down now and then we are going to research and see if we can find anything we do not get a water energy it's a big yikes it's fine i do have crowbat though do i really need the choice belt um yeah i think i do probably could have got rid of this frost moth actually to be honest, might have been better to get a keep a Marnie around, but I think it's fine. I do want a Crobat here. We need to try to find the water energy. There we go. You go ahead and attach that. We can quick ball away the Empoleon. Don't really need that. We can grab ourselves the Snom. And then we can Primate Wisdom here. Don't think we have a KO. That's fine though. We can always finish them off with Greninja. Oh, we do have a KO. Okay, I thought I didn't think we had a KO. For some reason, I was like, ah, we don't have our bench full. I don't think we have a knockout. We do have a KO. We get I read in water. All right. Palkia is insane. Now, next turn, my opponent, if they don't Marnie me, we can go into the Kirim VMAX. And I actually might be able to just take a big KO with Kirim here, which I'm probably going to do. I think I'm probably just going to try to go Kirim here um, and knock out the Arceus. Speak of the devil. Do they play a Raihan in their deck? They might have a Raihan here. All we have to do now, we just have to KO the Arceus and the Machamp or the Bit Barrel. So we kind of have our strategy of how we're going to win this mapped out here. Yeah, I think I am going to go uh, Kyurem here. I can actually go with Irita for Bucket, which I think is fine. I can go Irita for Bucket, grab another Kyurem. Though Kyurem VMAX can't get one shot by Machamp, though. All right, do they play Raihan? If they don't have a Raihan here, it's just basically the game's over. Yeah, I was going to say. They have to they have to have a Raihan here. If my opponent did not have a Raihan there, the game is basically just over. Um, that's fine. Yeah, we can go with the Irita here. Grab Raiding Greninja. We can Star Portal this turn. Well, I don't even have to Star Portal this turn. I can just do whatever. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, they are playing Flying Pikachu. Okay, they do play Pikachu. They do play a Lumineon. All right, we'll see if they grab anything Luminion. They got a Marnie. They can play that next turn. That's fine with me if you want to Marnie me next turn. Because I'm just doing Irita. There's a path. Okay, now we don't have Star Portal, which is actually a little relevant. Thankfully, I do play Training Court, so hopefully we find that eventually. It's not a big deal. That's fine. Now, the Pikachu isn't scary. The Pikachu is actually not... Actually, Pikachu is easier to KO than the uh, the Machamp. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, my opponent's building the Machamp. Okay, that's fine. If all goes well, we should be able to just take a KO. Now, I can't do Greninja now, unfortunately. Actually, I don't think I have a KO here with... Um, I don't think I have a KO with Kyurem. So I can go Bucket. I get 3 energy on, and that's only 270 damage. That's still not enough to KO this Arceus. Hmm. That is kind of tricky, actually. The... Path is pretty bad. I think we have to try to find... I think we have to Marnie and try to find Training Court. I think I have the Training Court here. And I have to get, like, Bucket, too. I mean, yeah, I need a lot. We didn't get a lot, unfortunately. That's pretty bad. We did not exactly get what I wanted. Um, I mean, Primate Wisdom and Prey, I guess. Yeah, we got Choice Bell. Choice Bell would have been good. Um, but unfortunately, we don't have a KO here on this Arceus. I think even if I bench Snom, I don't think we're quite there. I'll bench anyways, because I don't want Frostmoth to get bossed. We'll see if they have a boss of their own. That's fine. We'll subspace well. A little annoying we don't have the KO. We're literally 10 damage off of a knockout, which is ridiculous. Now, that's fine. We can still finish them off with Raiding Greninja down the road. 
Again, I can still Frost Moth to Micro Ninja. It's all good. All right, they do play Heavy Ball here. They are under Pathlock, and I did Marnie them, so we'll have to see. If they have a boss here, that is a little annoying. They could boss my Kirim here, which uh, would be not... I mean, we still have Irita, but bossing my Kirim would be bad. I don't want them to get the first hit of my Kirim here, so let's see what they do. They have three cards in hand. They could do Fly. They could do Fly. That would be pretty funny. Um, yeah, they could fly me here. Is that what they're doing? No shot. They're not flying me, are they? They could. I mean, that's not the worst play ever. And, okay, they're going to Ultra Ball. Yeah, they're going to get the flying Pikachu. I'm like, no, shot. they're doing fly. Um, That's fine. They're going to go into the Pikachu, knock me out. And I can knock out the Pikachu in return with Kirim. I just need to figure out a way to take one more prize. But my opponent's only taken the first knockout of the game, which is good. So thankfully, we still have a lot of time here to try to win this, which is good. Okay, let's see we top deck here. See, I read it right. Why did I say that? <laughs> okay. Well, Wisdom, the Ultra Ball backings, I don't really need it. Let's see what we get here. Evo Incense. Give me another Frost Moth, I guess. We're going to have to probably just go, like, Kiram Bucket. Take a prize. We are getting we are getting some prizes though, so it's not too bad. I don't want raiding Greninja bucket. They could knock out my Greninja. I still have Nessa though. I mean raiding Greninja is how we're gonna win this, right? And we're close to that point. I think I'm just gonna go. Cause if I grab Grading Greninja now, they might knock it out. I think I just want Kieran Bucket. It's fine. Kinda want Rod too though. Ah, we still have time. We still have time. We can just Ice Dance here to the Kirim. Fortunately, I do have to get rid of all the energy here to knock out this Flying Pikachu. That's fine, though. That's fine. Um, I could do Glaciated World here to try to... No, I can't. I can't. I, my abilities are locked. My bad. Might as well bench Kirim and then... Knock him out. Alright. 170, 220, 270. Knock out. Unfortunately, I had to get all the energy off there, but the choice spell was just not enough to kill the Pikachu. All right, that's fine, though. What do we got at the prizes here? Bucket is fantastic. Water's good. Boss. Ooh, boss is order. Okay. I think I can win. If they just knock out my Kiram here, I can boss kill the Arceus. With even Frostmoth can win the game. We might get Marnie to Rock Sand, though, which is a little problematic. I think I'm going to keep Wisdom Mean Boss on top of the deck. Let's say play Roxanne. They can take a knockout on my Kirim this turn. And I actually kind of want them to do a boss this turn. Though I don't think they're going to reset Kirim though. I don't think it's a good idea to reset my Kirim here. Uh, but we'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. I, if they do boss me, that's fine. Because then I can literally just win the game by bossing out the Arceus. So. No, okay. It's going to Revenge Buster. Yeah, I was going to say. don't. They're not going to kill me. That's fine with me. Or I just draw the switch. That works, too. We just top deck the switch. That also works. That works, too. This is why I play a heavy counter switch. As you can see, sometimes when you take a big explosive knockout with Kirim, you're trapped in the active. And that's why I like having the switch in the deck, because it just gives you a little bit more leeway here, which is sometimes really, really helpful. And unfortunately for my opponent, I do have the boss in hand to finish off the Arceus V-Star to win the game here versus my opponent's Decidueye Arceus Flying Pikachu Machamp deck, which... If I was playing a more Palkia heavy build, I probably would have been bodied. But because I the Kirin VMAX and the Frost Moth, it worked out pretty well. And I still had access to Radiant Greninja. As long as I just found a playable card and I can get Radiant Greninja, I can do the Radiant Greninja and I can set up KOs and knock out that Arceus. All right, we'll see what we got in this match here. Could be up against Giratina. Yeah, we open up the Kirin. I want to go into Empoleon because we need to shut off Comfy. And I can't do that with this current hand, which is kind of the problem. Yeah, it's Giratina. Oh, it might actually be... Oh, it's Gudra, actually, it looks like. Gudra. All right, Gudra's fine. If they're playing Gudra with the Lost Zone engine, I still think I need to go on Polion. So we'll see how it goes. Trickster card's always good. Another Kiram. Okay. Gudra's very beatable. Do I have Empoleon in the deck? I do. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, though, we can just KO the Gudra. I mean, we... Mm, I mean, the Empoleon is nice, but, like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go into it this turn. I think it is probably still 
fine to go Palkia, you know. Just, yeah, Palkia's Palkia. So I'll just do this. Crobat. Bunch of energy. No Snom, unfortunately. I was hoping to get a Snom there. Or, like, something like an Irita for next turn. So I'll just research and then do the big old attack next turn. It's not that big of a deal. We can start digging bodies. I mean, Kyurem's pretty good against Guja anyways. Honestly, we don't need Empoleon. If it was Giratina, I maybe would have prioritized Empoleon. But Guja's not too bad. Guja's not too bad. Not to mention, they don't get a Mana Fee. I can knock out two Comfies at once with Greninja. If we can switch. Because I still have all three switches. We'll see, though. Looks like they may have a turn one cram, though, which is a little freaky. Fine, I can spread the energy out. I need to get a Snom down, though, here. That's the ideal plan. If I can draw, like, an Irita, that'd be okay. But I don't think Irita can get me what I what I really want. They've been the Fantina, which is actually decent. All right. So I do have the ability to maybe go, like, double Greninja knockout here. I need to find, like, Switch Greninja Palkia V-Star, though. I don't know if I'm going to hit all that. Yeah. Ah, bro, no Kyurem? That's rough. No Kiram and no Snom, bruh. Not even a Quick Ball. That's pretty dumb. Well, I mean, we can Rapid Freeze, I guess. I mean, it's not that bad. We can just Rapid Freeze here to Kiram. Which is decent. So we can save Star Portal for Rainy Day. I have Irita for next turn. That was a big whiff, though. Damn. That was a huge whiff. Not getting anything off of that was pretty rough. It's fine, though. We can just Rod next turn, I guess. It's not a big deal. We'll just, well, we can I read it next turn. We'll see if they have the Akudra this turn. They do have a pretty big hand. Pretty good chance they Gudra me here, so we'll have to see if that happens. Um, we will see, we will see, we'll see. There's the V-Star. So, I mean, they'll take, what, 80 less damage? I can still just come in and one-hit KO them with Kiram, right? They still get killed by Kiram. And also, I can take out these Confies with Greninja. Like, I think my game plan is kind of mapped out. The big thing is I am going to need access to this Frost Moth, though, like ASAP. Um, so we need to get this Frost Moth down as soon as possible. Okay, they just been two switches. That means they do most likely have it, or else they would not have got rid of that many switching cards. Yeah, that's four, seven. Yeah, they got it. Looks like we are going to see Gudra here, but I am going to be able to knock them out with Kiram this turn, though. I do have a knockout with Kiram here. Let's see if they have anything else. Their switch. Do they have a choice belt? Ooh, they have a choice belt that got knocked out. Ooh. Okay, they have a belt here. I'm dead. If they have a belt, that's actually absurd. We'll see if they have it. They get rid of a boss. They might grab Raining Greninja. No, they fail it. Do they have a choice belt? They do not. Okay, thank heavens. Okay, what do we draw? Ooh, the Nessa? That's not bad. Okay, well, Irita. Hmm. Grab these two. Do this. Get the Kyurem VMAX. I can blow up this Gudra here. Uh, I can save the Raw for next turn. I can also Nessa next turn, which is pretty good. So how much am I doing here? Could do Glaciated World, too. Uh, is it worth to do Glaciated World? What would I... I don't think it matters too much. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll gamble. We'll gamble. We'll gamble. I don't think it matters. Okay, now it does. We hit a switch. Okay, that's fine. Um, So they have a lot of HP right now. So I need to go 270 minus 80. So how much do I have to do here? Hold on. Let me pull out a calculator. 350 HP. Okay, so I just got to get rid of 4 energy to knock them out. The 4 energy still body some here. Yeah, they're dead. Okay, cool. I was just making sure my math was correct. Yeah, it's 4 energy to knock out Gudra. All right, cool. Where do we got the prizes? Evil Incense. That's good. Water Energy. Nice. Nice. The more energy, the merrier. As long as we don't get Marnied here, I can respawn KO them because I do have the Nessa in hand. I can go Nessa for Frost Moth, Kirin VMAX. Or I don't even need to get Kirin VMAX so I can Evil Incense. I can also get Palkia. So I can knock out another Gudra here because I have my other Choice Belt on. I don't know. We'll see if they Marnie me or not. They lose a Bird Keeper. There's Mirage Gate. Do they have another Gudra here? See, Gudra V-Star may be a scary deck for some, but not when you're playing Kirim Palkia. When Kirim can come in and one-hit KO a Gudra, it ain't too scary. You know what I'm saying? It ain't too scary. There's the Gudra. They have three cards in hand. They did ditch two supporters, so something tells me they do have a supporter here. Do they have a Marnie? A Marnie would be pretty disruptive. 
Three cards. Do they have a Marnie? Do they always have it like that? No shot, right? No shot? No shot? No shot? No shot. Nice. Okay, cool. And, yeah, I do have a response KO once again. So, yeah, Kirim's pretty pretty insane. Gudra isn't too scary for Kirim. Do they have a way to want to KO a Kirim, though, next turn is the question. I don't think so. To be honest, I'm not. I don't think so. It'd be kind of crazy if they did. So we can go here. We can Nessa for Frost Moth. Energy, energy, energy. Yeah, Nessa's insane in this deck, for sure. See, this, the more Frost Moth streamline build, as you can see, it just flows a lot better sometimes. Because look at this. Just like that, we're able to build up Kirim. Next turn, I do want to hit them with Greninja, though, if it's possible. So we'll see how that goes. Don't know if we can pull that off, but we'll see. I guess I don't really need the rod, to be honest. We can ditch the rod here. I can get Guru. Or I could have grabbed Greninja too, I guess, but I think I'm fine with Guru. We can just Primate Wisdom Research on top, so if they do Marnie or Roxanne, well, Roxanne wouldn't matter, but you get what I mean. Uh, Max Frost. One, two, three, four. And that's Knockout. And the Guru also lets me just attack next turn anyways with Max Frost again. We'll take that KO. We'll see if we get off the prizes here. Bucket's good. Air balloon, okay. So next turn, I have to go for probably Raiding Greninja, right? Because if they have another line of Gudra, then... I mean, well, they, they have to two-shot me, though. We might be okay. It, it depends. They still have a Rod, so we'll see. They do have a Choice Spell in their deck, and then they didn't find that. There's a Capture Energy. There's that third Gudra. And there's the counter stadium. I was waiting for them to play that. Ooh, that's not good. There goes my two courts. Okay, that's a little annoying. Still have Palkia, though. The problem is, though, I don't have game. Right? I can't win. Unless I get a boss off of my next wisdom I do. I think it's fine to just research, though. Right? If we just build up Kirim, it's fine. I could also potentially draw into the room with Greninja. It's unlikely, though, with what I lost. Well, if I get switch Palkia, Greninja, I can win the game. Unless they play a Manaphy down, or they somehow net all their Comfies, which could happen, obviously. Oh, they're going to boss me here. They're going to put my Kirim on the bench. That's fine. Got Air Balloon in hand. Do I want to play the Bucket? Yeah, I think we do. We need a Thin. Build up Kirim. Just makes Kirim really bulky. The fact that they put it on the bench means I don't need to go into it next turn. Good Wisdom for the boss. Is it worth it a high roll? I could also try to win with... I'm just going to research. I'm not going to high roll boss. I don't think I'm going to find it. Yeah, we didn't get it. Um, I didn't get the Greninja for the win either. It's fine, though. I do have the Greninja, though. I can play. I can still conceal cards here. If I can just find Palkia V-Star, I win the game. Um, Do I want a quick ball? I don't want to get rid of Marnie, do I? I kind of want to keep the Marnie around. Might need it. Because if we don't get it, at least we can still blow up this Gudra anyways with Kirim. So I think I just want to hold on to the Marnie. Could have maybe got rid of Switch. We got Boss. That's not it. So I'll put Boss on top. No, we don't need a Boss on top, do we? No. Well, we can knock this out put Boss on top. I think I'd rather Marnie on top. I just need Palkia to win. One in nine chance of hitting Palkia. We don't get it. Okay. That's fine. We'll just... Knock him out. Because they can't kill my Kirim in return. And once I get a fourth energy on Kirim, the game is just over anyways, right? And I can just knock out Gudra. So we did whiff the win there. My opponent, I don't think, can win this turn. As long as they have no way to take out this Kirim, I don't think they can stop me. Hopefully, anyways. They're down two boss. Two chorus. Nah, we'll see. We'll see. They're also down a lot of energy right now, too. They do need to work up a way to get energy back, I guess, too, potentially. Lost Vacuum. Oh, there goes my Choice Belt. Okay, that's a pretty big discard. Okay. I can still win with Greninja, though. That's why I put Marnie on top, because I can still just r retreat into Greninja and just Palkia Star Portal for a game, which also works. Assuming they don't, like, as, as long as there's one Kofi in play or they don't match a Manaphy, I can go for the Greninja. I can also win with boss here. I can also win by going attach Guru, which thanks to the E-Retrieval, if they don't get rid of my hand, I do have the ability to go E-Retrieval also. I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. Now they have to move this other Comfy and find a Mirage Gate and have the energy in the deck and have a Gudra. They need so much. So they have Bird Keeper. They have, oh. oh, did they get it? Okay, they must have got it. 
But yeah, no, I can I can just win by going five energy discard too, which also works. If my opponent does not they can't Fantina me this turn. If they had another Fantina, they could have Fantina'd me, which would have forced me to go for the Greninja on the uh, double Comfy. They just pass. Well, I can just win with boss. That works too. That's fine. But yeah, as you can see, Kyurem's a pretty good card. Kyurem is good against Gudra. Gudra's a pretty scary deck to play against when you're playing most decks. When you're playing something like Kyurem where they don't have a damage cap, the matchup's not too bad. We didn't even use uh, Palkia in that match. We didn't even use Star Portal once and we still won the game. There you have it. That is the Kyurem VMAX deck in action. This deck is really powerful and Kyurem being able to want to kill anything in its path is really, really good. And I think this deck has a lot of potential in the format. And um, I do like this Frostmoth build kind of more leaning towards more of a rogue-centric build instead of more focusing on Palkia. And the Frostmoth did do its job. And I do like the deck. There's definitely room for other cards. Since you have the Frostmoth engine, you can also play other Pokemon within the deck. Like, you can play other attackers. Um, obviously, there's a lot of water Pokemon to choose from. So definitely, you can tweak the list. I'm going to leave you all with a stream game I got with this deck showing off the power of Kyurem even more. Kyurem being able to KO anything in its path is really, really good. And as you saw, we even bodied Gudra, which is supposed to be the new big tank heal deck. Not even Gudra could withstand the power of Kyurem VMAX, which is pretty impressive. But that'll be it for me. If you all enjoyed today's piece of video, leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe below. How many are reaching? 33,000 subs. As the time of this video goes up, I am going to be in Baltimore for Baltimore regional so i did have to pre-record like six videos in advance so this video was pre-recorded ahead of time just thought i would let you know that um, but thanks for watching check out car cabin you get any lost origin codes get them over at car cabin check out my twitch down below uh check out my discord server check out the shovel squad down below make sure you give them a sub and all that good stuff and i'll catch you all on another pc joe video bye bye well she was she not as good as carbominable yeah i don't know about carbominable overall though I wonder if it's better to actually lead with Kyurem there, because I could use my first attack. Are you going to be posting a Kyurem decklist video? Yeah, uh, at some point, I do plan on it. I do plan on it. All right, man, it's Turbo Darkrai. That's fine. It's fine, fine. We'll see. It might be a tough matchup, actually. And the problem is, like, we can one-shot, but they can one-shot me, which makes it tricky. Make a Gudra Stall deck with Pidgeot V. That could be pretty cool. Gudra Stall? What Gudra are we talking about here, though? Are we talking about the one that, uh... The V-Star, you mean, or the new one? Oh, they're playing Weezing. That's not good. That's not good at all. All right, what do we got? See, now I wish I started with the Kyurem, because I, I could have went Rapid Freeze here. I can put a Wash Energy on. They can't poison me, I guess, but not much I can do. We are bricking, too. They might Marnie me, though. Yeah, Gudra V-Star stall. Would that even work, though? We'll definitely try Gudra soon. Maybe we'll play it after this. No idea that Giratina hit so hard. It does. It's pretty good for sure. It's pretty good. It's getting its reputation for sure. Okay, no Marnie rip. They lose Avery, which is good. That's an annoying card to see. I guess in this matchup, I can go Kirim, Palkia, Kirim. Bro, they had the Hiding Dark? Oh, no. Not like this, chat. Oh, they got the Poison. Oh, they got the, the ability lock on me. I do have Boss in hand, though, but... Boss in this mulch doesn't do anything because it has a hiding dark. They need to bench something else so I can boss them. Sometimes it's not a coughing. They lost a rope, which is good. Yo! Ace123? Is that how you say it? Thank you for the follow. Just pull two gear chains back to back. Yo, nice. Let's go. That's hype. That is very hype. Yeah, hopefully the, uh, the, the trades I put on pubs go through so we can open up some more Lost Origin packs and try to pull that Giratina. So Pidgeot is busted no cap because you have an infinite loop. It's not bad for sure. Somebody will figure out a way to make it work. It does get a shut off by path, though. Remember, it does get a shut off by path. There we go. The lovely top deck. Doesn't like, matter, right? Research. I guess I could have bossed him when it mattered. It's an interesting hand. Ah. Uh... It's fine. Ah, hopefully I don't regret that. You need to get Palkia because I do the Palkia V-Star. And I lost my rod already. Time to bust out rock, paper, scissors. Uh, not tonight, not tonight. I do want to try that out though because that'll be for a really good meme video for sure. That, that'll that be like the Gyarados mill deck of uh, the Lost Origin content. You hate the trains. Well, what are you trading for, Mella? What's Gucci's price right now on TCGO prices? Let me see. It's eight packs of Lost Origin. 
I mean, Gujo will eventually drop in price. I honestly think Gujo is going to go down to probably like four or five packs in like a week or so. Giratina mm, probably will stay. My Giratina will stabilize to like 24, 25 packs. I don't know if Giratina is going to be as impactful as Arceus and Palkia. They're going for the Malt here. Are they going to KO me? Well, they came with Malt I can clap with Kirim, which I'm probably going to do. No, not the Wheezy, bro. <laughs> Cut it out. Want to try out Kamala? Yeah, the new Kamala is kind of cool. I definitely want to try that too. I definitely want to try that too. Oh, boy. All right, we'll see what they do. All right, we stay alive for one turn. So I have to find a switching card here. Can I do it? Now we're going to find out, I guess. Okay, I need to find a switch. I have three switch, two balloon. There's five outs. The chances are actually pretty high. I jinxed it, didn't I? No, I didn't. Right, nice. I got the Snom. Nice. Beautiful. I might get KO'd in return, which is the only thing I'm a little sketched out about, but we're trying to try to survive the turn here. Staying alive, chat. Staying alive. That's the motto. Staying alive. Now, if my opponent does not Marnie me here, I do have boss on Darkrai for a knockout if they don't Marnie me. The new boss art is awesome. I love it. I love it. I like it a lot. I really hope we get a Cyrus boss at some point, but Lysander boss is kind of cool. I like the background. I like how it's like blue and orange. Kind of like contrast pretty well. For some reason, chat, I prefer the alternate art full arts we've been getting, like the research full art, the boss full art, and even the Marnie full art. I just prefer the other artworks of the things. I think they can knock me out. Well, 330 is actually a lot of damage, so, so we'll see. We'll see. They have to work pretty hard here to get me. Does anyone know if the last set we are getting this year? No. Uh, the next set is going to be Silver Tempest in November. So there's still another set after this. And then Scarlet and Violet in February. This deck might be better with Arceus. I know, Al. <laughs> I ain't doing no Arceus, though. I refuse to do an Arceus video. <laughs> Not right now, anyways. Uh, a little bit later. I'll start at an Anamoris. Let's go. The Rainbow Rare Gear is trade locked. Well, I mean, eh, at least you have it. Your extra one go? I'm extra one of what, Reppin? Oh, the candy? I'm not sure. Yo, Boss Alex, thank you for that follow. I'm not sure if I'm trading the extra rare candy. It's like the Ultra Ball. It's like, I think I'm holding on to them. Um, knew it? Yeah. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, no, yeah Chad does not want to see Arceus. <laughs> I don't blame him. Yo, Disco Cisco, thank you for that follow. Thanks for all the follows, everybody. We are on the road to 8,000 followers. We are less than 100 followers away from 8,000. So, kind of mind-blowing. Greedy LDF. LDF Greedy confirmed? No, I just don't want to let go of my old school black and white secret rares just yet anyways. I'm probably, I'm looking to maybe give away the Ultra Ball when like live comes out or something, but we'll see. Am I dead? Do they have it? I am too lazy to count, but we'll see. Mirage Gate, Creamy one price deck seems interesting. Ooh, that's a cool, ooh, that's actually a really, ooh, oh my God. That's a cool idea. Hmm. Oh, my Palkia. What did he ever do to you? What a jerk. All right. Um. I can knock him out here, so that's good. I really want to Nessa this turn. We can probably do Nessa, right? How do I... Max Frost does 170, 220. I'm doing... Actually, I'm doing on the dot, right? I got rid of three energy here. They're dead. So I'm going to Max Frost them, and then Nessa get back to Palkia. Because we have a KO with our, our attack here. Oh, I have Greninja, too, to try to high roll a Frost Moth. Forgot about that. Yo, let's get it. Cool. And then I can build up the other cure, I guess. Well, no, nah, that's fine. And we'll just... Uh, do I need to do any... So, I have to fight a switch next turn, but I can always do Palkia's V-Star Power. So it kind of evens itself out. So that's what? 220. All right, 270. Just got 100 codes. Yo, did you get him a card cap? He's called LDF. All right, what do we got? Marnie, sure. 
Quick ball. Quick ball is good. I can get Guru here and try to do Glaciated World, which is nice. Kermis Weak Sauce. Could be with Ice Rider. Never fancy duck. I always beat you, bro. I love it, Alex. I love it. Honestly, Mirage Gate adds so much variety to the format. It's kind of crazy. Mirage Gate's the card that's going to make a lot of older cards good. Like, that Al Creamy Mirage Gate deck that Innovator just mentioned is actually kind of insane. Like, that's a really... That's like that's an LDF video right there. 50 codes yesterday, and I want 50 more. Yeah, I don't blame you, Zucchini. Zucchini, I'm the same. They still might knock me out this turn. They just hit the Glizzy with that Moltres. Ah, they still... They're out of Dark Patch, right? No, they... Wait, what? They've only played two? Bro, I thought they played four. Uh-oh. Ah, we might be dead here, chat. If, I mean, I guess I can still win. It's tough, though. I basically have to go cure him into... Mm, we'll see. Bro, they play a... What the fudge? All right, well. There goes that. Do they have a KO? Okay. I think that's still GG's, though, right? Okay. Okay, 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 chat, 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 chat. We still have a shot of winning the game. So that was kind of insane they pulled that off. But they are out of boss's order, and they've used up their escape rope. They shouldn't have a way to get around this last Kyurem. I think I can still win this game. I think I can still win this. So if I go Palkia V-Star, and I go... Um... We star portal. Because they can't knock out my Kyurem this turn. I'm pretty sure they can't do 330 damage next turn. And the fact they are down three bosses orders tells me they have no way to gust around my Kyurem. So we should be fine. I can Marnie them here too, which I think I'm going to have to do. Is it fine to Marnie? I'm not sure. Before they play a Galarian Goon. Yo, watch this chat. Yo, we can put a billion energy on this Kyurem. Watch this, ready? Glaciated World. We haven't done it yet either. We got to do our ability, bro. We haven't done it yet. Yo, that's a fat Kyurem. I could also kill the Moltres V here. Which is also not a bad play either. But like, there's they can't do anything, right? What if they like Thornton into a Darkrai though? What's a better play, chat? Kale the active or Kale the Moltres on the bench? I guess I shouldn't. Yeah, I don't think I should Marnie because if they do play four boss, I doubt they. There's no shot they play four boss. They have Bird Keeper, Avery, Clara. No shot they have four boss. If they have a rope. We can give them Palkia. I can just kill the active, right? Just knock the active out. It's fine. We kill the active, and now now we just hope they can't knock me out. Yeah, you think it was correct to kill the active? They have, they've done their V-Star power, though. So, ah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. It's a close game. Close game. They have to have... If they play four boss chat, I'm done. No shot they play four. When they have Bird Keeper, Avery, Clara, and Weezing, there's no shot they found room for four bosses orders. There's so many, like, other filler cards. There's no way there's a boss in the deck. No shot. They don't got it? You better be right, Alex. I'm banking on you. I'm banking on you. And before they... They could play two ropes. I could still give them Palkia, though. They can't knock out Palkia. And they currently cannot kill Palkia. And they did Air Balloon the Moltres, so they can't Choice Belt it now. Marnie? All right, I think that's game. I know for sure, Chow's out. I definitely want to try that out. All right, here we go, chat. Oh, yeah, they could have... Wait, before Catcher? No shot. If they play Catcher, chat, I will donate my entire playset of Giratinas. All right, we won. Let's go! Kyurem V Max, baby. The V Star Slayer. That was a close game. That was a pretty close game.